after coins. I also just want to say, if you're a Divine Masculine watching this channel, you can always, always, always switch the gender. So if you're deciding between a Divine Feminine or another Divine Feminine, you can totally switch it. Um, usually, what I'm operating as is like, well, you can choose which DM is which one, but usually the one you've been dealing with most recently is DM number one, but the one that's just swooped in and popped out like new, that's DM two. So, yeah. Just if that helps you in any type of way. Okay, copies. Capri, Capri, Capricorns. Danae, Archangels and all angels in heaven. Oh, she! DM number one, Emperor. Dang. Whatever effect you had on them, it seems to be working. They seem to not be messing around. Mm-mm. Hmm. Maybe they will step up to the plate. They It looks like they've come full emperor. This is like, nobody takes my woman. This is like, I'm coming in. This is like, I'm the emperor now. You sparked a light in me that can't be dimmed. DM number two is feeling hella, hella, hella inspired to take action and bring that big D over your way. Okay, whoa. Let's put these back in. One card. One card, one card, one card. Hmm. No, me, no, me. Just one card, please. Although those are interesting cards. They're saying switch decks. Danae, DM number one, what's going on? Danae, what's going on? Hmm, too many. Oh, the hanged man. So, Pisces energy. The hanged man, someone is like... Con in contemplation, hanging on. Should I say this? They're they're overthinking. They're thinking, thinking, thinking. What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? What about DM number two? DM number two misses the fuck out of you. <laughs> they feel they're contemplating their past decisions. See how they're thinking about the lovers you could be, could have been, would have been, should have been, coulda, woulda, shoulda. DM number one. Not letting a single ball drop. Dedicated to all of the all of their cards staying close to the vest, yet keeping all the cards. They're not ready to give yet. They're holding on. But what they don't realize is you're already gone. <laughs> DM number two. Already gone. DM number two sees you looking fat, finna sexy, hella sexy. They want to put that D up in this pussy. Ow, ow, ow. Mm. Why on your order? Okie dokie. DM number one. DM number one. DM number one is working on their pentacles, working on their finances, hard, hard at work. DM number two. Mm. <sighs> DM number two is using their intuition, but also holding secrets back from you. It's lying of omission. DM number one wants to row, row, row their boat over to you. With the help of their handy dandy friends, they're getting advice, good advice, finally. Telling them to chase after what they want. 
where he is just suffering twice or multiple times. Both see y'all as a twin flame. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What about DM number two? Oh, she. DM number two sees you as operating in full empress mode. They always saw your potential. They didn't think that they were just putting you on the shelf, but yet now you're the empress and they can't get enough. Oh, baby. Yes. And it's like you're an empress that is different from every other empress. There's just something special about you. When you have a twin flame, it's like no one compares to you. You know, as the empress of your twin flame, no other empress compares. Good luck drying. <laughs> I think that's a beautiful place to stop. Dear Lord, I pray that these empresses choose wisely and that you guide them and that they cut off everything not serving them dear lord i pray that these dms get out of worry and if they want to go for something they go for it rather than holding back because the energy right now is perfect for it in jesus name amen mm.